Okay, what this is, is um, it's a Bedini Simple Schoolgirl electric motor. It's got 16 ceramic magnets around the circumference. They're equally spaced. They are about two magnet widths apart. And that is the motor coil. It's actually it's Tesla wound. And there's a trigger coil and a power coil. And this is the circuit. It's basically a transistor circuit, kind of an amplifier circuit. What it allows is um, after the motor coil fires, there's no there's no place for that power to dissipate. So it, it flies back, and that power then flies back into a charge battery. Got two batteries here. One is our power battery, our drive battery. This is the charge battery. Here we've got volts on the drive battery. And here we'll show the um, milliamps coming back into this battery. To start this thing, all you have to do is turn it. There it's running. There's the voltage on the drive battery. And we are getting a little over a tenth of an amp into the charge battery. It's a quiet little motor. It's not a high speed motor. That's how it runs. And on this setup, my coil is uh, one ohm resistance on the drive coil, one and a half ohms on the trigger coil. It's wound 18 gauge and 20 gauge. So here on the resistance in the circuit, I have 115 ohms in the circuit. I can replace this little bulb and this potentiometer with hardwired resistors, 115 ohms. Still getting a charge. Voltage is dropping. Now what's interesting about this is it's it's also called a Hojo motor or Howard Johnson magnet motor and it isn't. This really is um, a Bedini motor. The only um, resemblance this bears to a Howard Johnson motor is the fact that it uses magnets. But then again, most electric motors have magnets. So, uh, it's kind of a misnomer to call this a Howard Johnson magnet motor. Alright, here's the power draw. Volts times amps. So, that's what's coming out of this battery volts times amps, so 2 tenths of 13 is about we'll call it 2.6 watts. So here's where the confusion comes in. Here are the volts on this charge battery. So 13. I'm going to start the motor. Okay, voila. We're getting power into the charging battery. Look at the volts go up. That was the drive battery, now we're going to charge. So it's at 12.9. This is the battery that we just charged. Moved it to the drive position. Alright, we got our charge battery hooked up. No draw on the drive battery. We're going to start it up. There's the amp draw on the uh, new drive battery. Here we go charging. 